Hi Year 9, last lesson we looked at what capital punishment is and why it exists. In this lesson we are going to be looking at why might people disagree with capital punishment. Our LR for this lesson is by the end of the lesson you will be able to understand different views on capital punishment. So why are people for and against capital punishment? I want you to open up the link on class charts and watch this BBC video on what are the rights and wrongs of death penalty. Your task while you are watching this video is to create a tea table that looks like this on the left hand side. And I want you to come up with reasons for and against capital punishment. So you may have your own views and I want you to use views from the video as well. So master task, what do you think Christianity would teach about the use of capital punishment? Do you think Christians would agree or disagree with capital punishment? What I want you to do is open up the Word document that is uploaded on class charts. It looks like this. You can either complete this task on the piece of paper on Word. You can complete it on your whiteboard or your device. I want you to read through each statement and I want you to decide whether it's for or against capital punishment. Once you have done that, can you count how many for reasons there are and how many against reasons there are? And your master task is to add your own reasons for and against. As you may know, the death penalty still exists in the US. Unfortunately, there have been a number of cases where innocent people have died because of capital punishment. They have been sentenced to death. However, they have been found out to be innocent, but it's too late by then because they've already been killed. So I'm going to give you an example of Earl Washington. This case could have gone horribly wrong. So this man was a 22 year old man with the mind of a 10 year old. So he's already disadvantaged. He was wrongfully convicted of murder. He was sentenced to death row in America and spent over 17 years in prison on death row before he was found out innocent just nine days before his execution. If he was not found out to be innocent, he would have been killed by the death penalty. Now, I want you to use this example in your next activity. Why might people be against the death penalty because of this? We are now going to be evaluating the following statement. All countries should ban the death penalty. Now, we have looked at reasons for and against, and we have looked at the case of Earl Washington, and you are now going to form your own judgment. Do you think that all countries should ban the death penalty? Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. So I want you to follow the following sentence starters and use it on your paper, whiteboard, or device. So I agree or disagree with the statement because, and give me two reasons, please. What do you think a religious person may argue about the death penalty? Do you think that they would agree or disagree? We will find out more about religious reasons for and against the next lesson. Your master task is to tell me what you think someone would say. Why would they disagree with your point? Now, once you have completed these paragraphs, can you please take a picture and upload it to class charts, please? Your plenary for today's lesson is Maze Chase. If you have played Pac-Man, it's very, very similar. So you have got a statement at the bottom of your game and I want you to read it and I want you to figure out if it's true or false and I want you to guide your person to the correct box without being killed by the monsters.